All right, guys, good morning, first of all. So what is going on here is our traditional Japanese breakfast at a Ryokan. Indeed. So yesterday we filmed a tour of the Ryokan, then we yes. showed you dinner at the Ryokan in our bedroom. For breakfast, we're eating in a communal dining area, but everything looks just as special. Like we have lots of little dishes, presentation is on point. So yeah, we're gonna film breakfast and show you what that's like. <laughs> oh, orange juice. Orange juice. Yeah. Ah, orange juice. 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 The ladies, the, the ladies, ladies were very here amused. Got, got a real, real kick out of it. They wanted yeah. to see the back and the front. Who knows? There could be curse words on it for all we know. <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. I picked that up in Shinjuku in Tokyo, by the way. In Harajuku. Harajuku. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Harajuku. So okay. anyways, the traditional Japanese breakfast has arrived. It mm -hmm. is a glorious spread. It is. And um, I'm just going to give you a little tour of everything we've got. All so, right. Where shall we begin? First things first, let's pour some tea. Some tea. So this yes. is some green tea. You've already had a little bit. Yeah, poured so myself a little. Cup. Comes in a lovely little pot. Oh, look at the steam coming off. And I love just love the color of it too. Yeah. Check that out. It's a light tea. It's not a matcha. Just light green tea, oh, which is very good. nice for breakfast. Mm. I do really like that. Okay, so before I dig into anything else, so we had a choice between orange juice and tea and coffee. So we chose to get orange juice, mm -hmm. which is really nice. Um, over here we have some kind of, it looks kind of raw egg. Oh. And, um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of we, raw we egg. Know that's I will, not I will try it. <laughs> I will try it. And then look at look at the presentation of all these little plates. So many little boxes. Oh my gosh, so many little like boxes. Little treasures. So let's unveil this. So this is the white fish that we tried um, for street food once. Oh yeah, in Kamakura. Yeah, yeah. Where they had ice cream with fish. Yeah. That's a familiar sight. What is it? So it's white something? I think it's called white bait. Yeah, white bait maybe when it's translated. And if there appears to be, is there rice underneath? I think it's some kind of like radish or... Oh, radish, okay. Something. That would make sense. So what we else have, do we have there? We have some pickled fruits over here. Okay, and, and over here there's tofu. Uh-huh. Looks really good. It looks like a chestnut. Yeah, a little chestnut next to it. Um, we have some pickled vegetables. I believe we have, looks like red radish. I think that's a fish paste, to be honest. I tried oh. that one and it had a fishy taste. Oh, uh, okay. So that's what it would be. And then we have greens. More greens. More greens. Lots of greens. And here is like the, the staple of a Japanese breakfast. Anytime we've had Japanese breakfast, um, it's always come with rice. rice and miso soup. Okay. And then also we have... Uh, a little like salad. A little green salad with some, looks like maybe like a kind of a mustardy dressing. Or no, no, maybe a sesame dressing, I yeah. guess. And it's then, got some corn in there. Interesting yeah. ingredients for salad. Indeed. And then over here we have some beef the or meat. Beef. Probably heated beef that was cooking for us just a few mo moments ago. Yeah. So anyways, enough ramble ramble. Let's try all of this. Let's try. All right, time for you to try yours. It's my turn. I'm going to start with the beef. Mm -hmm. I'm not saving the best for last. We're <laughs> going in for the best going for first. Going in the best for first. Best for right. first. <laughs> for first. <laughs> the opposite of mm. delayed gratification. You like it? It's just such a sweet, tender. No, I love I love beef. that sauce. We haven't had it with mm. any other um, Japanese. Like we haven't had that in any other any other dish since we've been in Japan yeah. so far. And like we have some caramelized onions in there as well. Yeah. I had a pepper earlier. Add some nice juiciness to it. Mhm. Mm oh, it's very good. Also, I'm a fan of miso early in the morning. Yeah. And this one has the, the spongy tofu, which I like. Yeah. The miso in this city is kind of special. I uh -huh. feel like it's a little different from other kinds. It has a stronger kinds. flavor here. It does have a stronger flavor. It tends to be a bit darker, like more too. More concentrated. More concentrated. Mm -hmm. And the color is a little darker. Yeah. So we've had that a few times now, and we've noticed that. Let's try the, the salad. Veggies. This is like the most Western looking item on the plate mm -hmm. well aside from the corn I, you wouldn't typically see corn in a salad yeah so it has lettuce ooh, i'm just right it has lettuce cucumber tomatoes yep. and corn and a and bit corn. of a sweet dressing yeah pretty good yeah i do like it and now for the miniature dishes we've got these little greens and that one's interesting i don't even know what it is it has a very unusual flavor mm. look at the presentation with this little leaf on top 
Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Tofu and the chestnut. Yeah, the attention to detail here is amazing. It really is. This is by far the most complete traditional Japanese breakfast we've yeah. had. We've had more basic versions mm -hmm. where it's been like the soup, the rice, the miso, the grilled some, fish. some protein and maybe a, a little bit of pickled vegetables, but we've never had anything with quite this spread. I have to say the water chestnut, if that's what it is, yeah. kind of tastes like a potato. Like it's yeah, it's quite rooty. starchy. And it's rooty, starchy, yeah. yeah. Going in for some carrot. Mm -hmm. mm, that's pickled. It's a little bit sour. <laughs> oh. Ooh, this is even more sour. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm having. Pickled veggies. Also, I've just realized mm -hmm. I've been using both ends of my chopsticks. They're both dirty. Whoops. Double. You've been going, you've been going, been going in on both sides. And then these little fish. You know what? I, do you regret not having that with ice cream when we had the chance? No. No? I kind of wish we had it. Yeah, I, we've mentioned that before about the, the ice cream in Kamakura. Yeah. You could get it with like the white bait fish on top. You sure, you sure can. And we're just like fish <laughs> on ice cream. What is going on? No way. And we ended up getting, I think, the, the black sesame yeah. ice cream with like oh, soy that, powder. That was so interesting too. Going back to breakfast, my favorite item would have to be the beef with yeah. the rice. Like that's just an amazing sauce. Yeah. And the miso. And the miso. My miso is almost gone. A lovely presentation. A great way to wrap up our stay. Here at this yeah, we're the first people here, the only people mm -hmm. here so far. First and only people. It's wonderful. There are a few other tables that have been prepared, so mm -hmm. there are other guests coming, mm -hmm. but we are the first. The greens remind me of that uh, sansai meal with yeah. the mountain vegetables yeah. foraged. Mm, those are good. Try the other ones. They're quite juicy. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, I like these ones even more. Wow, it has a strong flavor. And look how it's wrapped wrapped up like this. It's really neat. Oh, like little rolls. Like little rolls. Moving on to the tofu. Mm. It's really juicy, has a lot of water content. No, water chestnut. Mm. That's tasty. Yeah. Yeah. Fish paste. Fish paste. I'll have that with a bit of rice, I think. Oh, that's really salty. Oh, wow. I probably wouldn't have had such a big bite if I realized how salty <laughs> it was. Now for this part. I'm excited to have the fish. The mini fish. Mm. Such a light flavor, isn't it? When you normally have like, um, when I think of fish like that, I usually think of it as being like more salty, mm -hmm. but that just has a very light taste. Drinking miso. Oh, that has such a rich flavor. Yeah. There's nothing worse than a watered down miso. <laughs> Garden vegetables here with some, grab some corn. No, I find corn makes some interesting appearances in Japanese food. I've seen it in pizza. I've seen it in salads that otherwise wouldn't have it in other parts of the world, so why not have some more corn? Okay, so I'm saving my favorite thing for the end. Meat. The beef. So that means I have to try the egg first. Oh my. Oh my. Oh man, I'm not a big you know, fan they actually egg. gave us a little spoon for it. It's right next to your glass uh, cup there. Okay. It might be easier since it's such a runny egg. Oh, oh I'm not looking forward to this part. Oh. Sam does not like runny eggs, no in thanks. case you've missed the memo. No thanks. <laughs> Let's get onto this quickly. Sauce. With a sweet beef. Oh my gosh, that sauce is amazing. I know. It's sweet, but it's also a bit tangy. Mmm. Super tender meat. That made up for the kind of yucky bite of egg. I really like everything here, aside from the egg. So it's going to be a wonderful breakfast and it looks like it's a lot of food but when you consider that the portions are small and in total a lot of it's like healthy ingredients like vegetables mm -hmm. and stuff i actually don't feel like i'm going to be too stuffed it's just going to be the right amount yeah a lot of it is just like a bite or two it's exactly. like a little taste little taste of everything and okay. beauti beautifully presented it sure is now let's enjoy yeah. let's enjoy so that is a wrap for breakfast we pretty much demolished everything except for the runny egg. Yeah. Um, but yeah, lovely presentation. Everything was super tasty. That was a really fun way to finish up our stay here at Ryokan. We are going sightseeing now. We're gonna be heading up to Shirakawa Go. So we're gonna say goodbye and we'll see you soon with more videos from Japan on our channel. Ta-ta guys.